Welcome to Lydia's Plate. I'm a stay-at-home mom who is homesteading together with my husband and four kids. We do gardening, house cleaning, all the homesteading stuff, baking bread, experimenting with gluten-free foods for one of our kids, animals, and the like. So if you like that kind of stuff, stay tuned and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to Lydia's Plate. This is my schedule for today. So we're going to get right into it. The kids are starting with school and I'm going to start tidying up. The first thing I was doing was working on this flashlight. It has a poor connection, but the kids thought the battery was dead. So I've got it mostly working, but at least now they know that if it doesn't seem to be working and they need it to, they can just give it a shake until it works. And we do have some dead batteries that were laying on the counter, so Travis is going to take those to the reset. I'm taking a quick peek at my hot peppers that are drying here. I want to try making my own hot pepper flakes. And then I'm getting right into the dishwasher. It was almost full already. I had loaded it the night before. So I just had to put our breakfast dishes into it and then it was ready to start. kids had dumped out the entire crayon box here on the end of the island and all the tiny little pieces of wax has really stuck onto the surface here so I'm gonna have to scrub pretty well to get that off.
I'm not going to do a deep clean of the cupboard doors today. I'm just getting the spots where it has splashed or there's a layer of dust. I'm just kind of spot cleaning and yeah, nothing deep, nothing major. I'm moving the camera around back and forth here a bit because once I have hot water and soap in the sink I like to try to get all the surfaces washed or wiped all at once and then I can clean the sinks completely out and have them done with. So this is our pantry, our microwave and coffee stations, and they have not been cleaned in a very long time. I don't remember how long, and I don't know if I want to admit to how long. But anyways, you can see that they are quite dirty. Not everybody always remembers to put the microwave cover on their plate when they're warming something up, and so that splatters all over the microwave. And with the coffee maker as well, Sometimes spills happen, more so just with the coffee grinds when they're dry and coffee's being made, not so much the coffee itself, although sometimes there are drips with that as well. And the coffee maker itself also needs a very good cleaning. It's been quite a while since it got cleaned as well, so it's gonna get a really good deep clean. Now that that's all done, I'm gonna tidy up this space here beside the coffee maker a little bit. I'd like to try to keep just the coffee making and drinking items here, like the hot chocolate, coffee made powder, extra coffee tins, that kind of stuff. So, yep, just getting that reorganized and cleaned up. My dishwasher has the feature that I can press a button, hold it for three seconds, and it locks all the buttons. That is very handy for times like this when I don't think to wipe it clean until after I've already started it, and I definitely would be quite annoyed if I hit a button and disrupted the entire cycle. So, just 
press that lock button and it locks those buttons, then I can get it wiped and onward we can move. Now I haven't put the bread maker away because I'd also like to make a loaf of bread so that we can quickly have sandwiches or any other quick meal, maybe soup and bread. So I'm just gonna get a loaf going here and that way I'm one step ahead for a quick meal at some time. Now with that being done, my flour bin was pretty well empty, which is what it needs to be to fit a bag of flour. And so I'm just emptying a partial bag here because we had mixed some whole wheat flour together with some regular all-purpose flour. And I'm just emptying that bag into here now and smoothing it out so I can get the lid on it. And there we go. Now that that's done though, it did make a little bit of a mess on the floor. Not bad, but I'm going to have to step around that until I get it swept up, which will be the next task in order to get done. big sweeper full of everything that I swept up a lot of fur and dust and just crumbs whatever else generally comes into a house and then we can move on with mopping the floor now that it's swept. living area is done we'll move on to this part of it the living room here I need to tidy up around the fireplace there a bit and sweep and mop and I'm going to do a lot of vacuuming too we have life group happening at our place tonight and so I just want everything all tidied up cleaned up dusted looking all put together and nice So here we also have this bookshelf slash knickknack shelf and I often overlook it because it's off in the corner and 
dusting is not my most favorite thing to do but it really needs it it has been a very very long time I'm gonna guess before summer since I dusted this shelf so it really really needs it and especially right on the top there with those angels I almost never dust those partly because I think that the more that I move them and touch them and dust them the higher risk there is that I might break them Here in the entrance, of course, the garbage has piled up. It always kind of sits here before it makes its way out the door. And Carissa has now finished her schoolwork, so she's gonna help me out and carry the garbage out so I can continue on with cleaning. You can't see it here on the camera, but on this black rug, there was some clay type mud that was kind of mashed into the rug and it didn't come off with just the power head. I actually had to take the vacuum cleaner and really scratch and scrub to get that off of there. I'm not sure exactly what kind of mud it was. I'm gonna guess clay, but yes, it did not simply just vacuum up. And as for this dog food, I would desperately love to find a better solution for it a better place for it somewhere where we could maybe keep a little better eye on her but at the same time i don't care for the smell of dog food so i'm not sure if you have any ideas please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below all right so here i gave mark a funny look because as i was cleaning all of a sudden he says to me hey um is that vacuum cleaner supposed to be blocking the camera view and i said no definitely it's not supposed to be he said, hey, by the way, did you know that you have a big hole in the back of your shirt? I said, what? And so I reached around to my back and yes, the shirt was designed that way. So smart Alec, but it gave me a good much needed laugh.
Today I'm also going to clean this garbage can that's in this bathroom. It looked absolutely disgusting again. So I'm going to get that all cleaned and it was quite piled full of garbage so that's been taken care of. And now to just get the rest of the bathroom finished up and a new towel hung up for drying hands. I don't know if I've mentioned this in any other video before, but because these steps are right at the entrance, any time that that entrance rug has anything on it and people walk through the entrance and then come downstairs, anything like that, that all tracks all the way down these stairs. Sometimes it accidentally, you know, a tiny little pebble might get kicked, and so that all ends up down these stairs. They desperately need a good vacuuming, and they also had a lot of dust sitting in the corners of each step as well. Here we go, we are on to the laundry and we're gonna get this all cleaned up and then I'm going to tuck that one laundry line a little higher up so that when the kids are down here playing tonight it is not in their way. I wasn't sure if that was a piece of Lego on the floor so Kevin was checking that and he also decided he wanted to move the train table to a different space and just kind of change things up so once the vacuuming was done we moved it over. After we moved it it looked like that was a very good idea because there was so much junk that had ended up underneath the table and there's also a dirty spot now that I see that I need to clean out of the rug. But that won't happen today.
that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have been extremely motivated and encouraged by watching this video to go tackle whatever is in front of you today. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, hit that bell if you want to be notified every time we post a new video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care guys. Bye!